During this clip, I will address some housekeeping matters related to our uniform and bus travel. Starting with uniform. The college has different versions of uniform. We have summer uniform, worn in terms one and four, and winter uniform, worn in terms two and three. There is also a PE uniform, summer and winter, worn on days when students have their double PE lesson. Information regarding uniforms can be found on the St. Joseph's College website. Ballerine Uniforms are the uniform supplier, and the college recently emailed all families instructions on how to schedule an online uniform fitting with ballerine uniforms. Included in this was our college uniform and dress code with images of what our correct uniform looks like and how to purchase it. This information is also available on our website. If you haven't received information regarding scheduling your appointment, please contact ballerine uniforms. Importantly, when wearing full summer or winter uniform, the shoes to be worn are black leather lace-ups. Black sports shoes or flat sole black skate shoes are not permitted. The college introduced a new sports jacket in 2019. Please be aware this item cannot be purchased secondhand if it is the old version. All students entering Year 7 must have the new version. Please label all uniform items. Lost items can be easily returned if they are clearly labelled with the student's full name. We are a big school with many students having the same name. So it is really important to write the student's full name on all items. Now for bus travel. One of the areas that causes stress for new students is bus travel. Most of our students catch buses to and from school. If your son is catching a bus to school next year, then I would encourage him to do it from day one. We have extra staff on duty to help students get to the correct bus at the end of the first day. Year 7s will also finish classes early during the first week to ensure that they can develop an efficient routine to get to the correct bus on time. Details regarding bus travel can also be found on the website, clicking on Current Families, Information for Students and Families. The college has included bus paperwork in your letter of offer. Please ensure you have returned this paperwork to the college. Bus companies are able to provide information regarding bus routes and times. Their contact details are provided in the bus travel information section. Please send your son to school knowing what bus number he needs to catch in order to get home. That is, if he is able to state the bus number, i.e. the N19 or S1 or N23, etc., then we'll be able to get him on that bus. If he comes to school saying, I need to get to Heighton, well, there are three buses that go to different areas of Heighton, so he may not get on the bus that gets him closest to home. It is really important that he comes to school on the first day knowing what bus number he needs to catch to get home. While the bus companies provide this service, we support them with the behaviour of the students. Students are expected to follow school rules and standards when travelling to and from school and must behave in a manner that allows the drivers to concentrate on getting them home safely. Students who behave inappropriately on the bus can face a bus suspension, which means parents must then find an alternate way of getting their son to school. If students experience any poor behaviour or behaviour that makes them feel uncomfortable on the buses, they are asked to report it to their homeroom teachers, their year level coordinators or the head of the sub-school. Once again, thanks for your attention. Please contact Ballerine Uniforms the relevant bus company or the college if you require further information on uniforms or buses.